Hello and welcome to The Secret Sauce with Grossy Pelosi, the show where I visit Food52 community members in their home kitchens and ask them to share the secrets behind their favorite family recipes. Today I'm in Brooklyn with James Beard Award nominated chef and cookbook author, Fanny Gerson. Hey! Hi, <laughs> hi Fanny. Uh, hi, I'm so happy to have you here. I'm so house. happy to be here. <laughs> I know you because of your incredible donuts. Well, I brought some for you Stop. and the crew today. <laughs> We're going to be a happy crew. <laughs> this is good. actually my favorite one from your shop. I live a little too close to your shop. <laughs> Just a little. That's, that's not a bad thing. <laughs> Look at yeah, that. we made this one extra big today. Oh, really? For yeah. me? Yeah. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, I love that. It's perfect. <laughs> Donuts aside, what are we making today? We're making garabatos. Garabatos translates to scribble. Oh, I and, love scribbling. Yeah, and then <laughs> these are scribble cookies. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Sounds like to me we're going to make a little bit of a mess. Yes, which means Gorgeous. we're going to have a lot, a lot of, fun. of fun. Exactly. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, I'm, I'm so ready. Okay, there's actually two ways of making the dough. Okay. So we have the way that we make it in the book, okay. which requires uh, room temperature butter. Okay. But I don't know about you, but it's like I always forget or yeah, I'm in yeah. a rush and mm -hmm. I'm like, I don't need, so I, I found a way to make it with cold butter. With cold butter. Is that why we're using the food press time? Yeah. It heats it up. <laughs> Got it. We're okay. going to put the flour. Okay. Confectioner sugar. Oh, that's going to make it nice. Ugh. Yeah. I find with like a sugar or a shortbread cookie, like a little, a little bit of the confectioner sugar totally makes the texture. Yeah, really... I think so too. Okay. So all this. So all this. Okay. Yeah. And then we're Get just going to pulse hands, it. Buddy. All right. It's like totally <laughs> It just comes flour. out, I know. It's spinning <laughs> flour inside. It really is. <laughs> okay, how All do you right. feel? So, kind of we want it to be like sandy, yeah. you know? Yeah, it looks pretty sandy, but do you yeah. think? No, I think it looks great. Good. We're gonna just put two egg yolks. All right. The bottom is gonna feel yes. like wet. And then the like, top part is gonna feel dry. Go for it, go there? for it, yeah. <laughs> okay, great. Yeah. And oh, you know, did we forget the vanilla? I don't think we put vanilla. We forgot the vanilla. Oh, we'll put vanilla. So just put it in. Never give up in the kitchen. No. <laughs> you can always make it work. We use, of course, Mexican vanilla. Yeah. Gorgeous. Tell me about when you were a kid in the kitchen. My sister and I would uh, pretend we had a cooking show, oh, but this is before so cooking shows existed. Okay. Like in so Mexico, there was one, and, okay. and she was the director. Okay. And and she liked to clean the dishes, and Ooh. then she, I think she liked to be the director because she bossed me around. I love a director <laughs> who cleans the dishes. This uh, feels and then, so good. Um, right? So it's nice and smooth, and it, really it is. doesn't. Anyway, so we would pretend to have a show, and I did most of the times I did baking. So that's amazing. Um, but I, I loved it, and you know, my mom, even though she has like a few dishes she makes, uh -huh. like not a ton. The ones she makes, they're delicious. Okay. But she did, you know, sort of show us an appreciation for, you know, like good food and like yeah. good ingredients, and like we never had any sugar like cereals oh, yeah, no yeah. microwave no nothing no colorings oh. no, yeah and yeah. i i still you know that's the way i've followed in her tracks that's amazing even like at the donut show we, i love color yeah and i don't like to use colorings yeah, like, yeah. we even so make our own natural. sprinkles oh you do yeah so they're all natural i love sprinkles i have to i have to bring you some okay there was a bakery near my house when i was growing up mm -hmm. uh, called delvis and it's like an Eastern European bakery. Yeah. And they used to have these, these cookies. Uh -huh. And my sister and I would go crazy for them. And yeah. they would come in these like trays. Mm -hmm. It was like sealed with like a little stickers. Yeah. In the middle of the night, my sister and I would be like, <laughs> try to sneak try in to, sneak. to see. But they're so crumbly <laughs> that even if we managed to- You left crumbs behind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then my brother, who's ten years younger, mm -hmm. it's also one of his favorites. Oh, really? So this is, you know, one of the first recipes I wanted to make sure to include in my yeah, book. Yeah, yeah. Even though it's not sort of like a traditional Mexican yeah, yeah. recipe, it's but traditional it's part of from your family memory. Yeah. Exactly. So now we're just gonna wrap it up, just so that while it rests, it doesn't dry out. While they hang out, we're gonna make the filling and the topping. Gorgeous! I can't wait to hear what the filling is. Yeah. 
What's this chocolate that you have in here? Is there anything special about it? Are we using? So you want to use like high quality chocolate. And I actually like to use sort of two different brands yeah, of yeah. chocolate if I have them around. I like kind of like a bittersweet for bittersweet. both. Why yeah. different brands of the same flavor? Well, because there's a lot of really good chocolate out okay. there. Yes, yeah, so you don't want to choose. <laughs> I don't want to choose. But so for this, I'm using Valrona. Yeah. And for the topping, we're using guitar. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So can I add some of this yeah, to it? Yeah, please. I'm going to start with butter first. Yeah. It's always about the butter. So is this vanilla? Yeah. Mm. This is uh, corn, syrup. corn syrup. So you said crema or sour cream. Yeah. OK, that's great. I love how you're sort of creating those those options because yeah. accessibility to ingredients can be yeah. challenging when we're cooking. And you could even try like if you like very tart things, like mm. put a little bit of like Greek yogurt. Oh, that would be delicious. You Is know, salt part of this equation? You know, uh, I always put, but I, uh, it doesn't have it in the original recipe, but definitely put it in. So then this okay. is beautiful, silky. Stunning. I'm and then have... we're just going to cover it okay. and set it aside. Great. And wait for it to, to firm up. Now we're going to make the, the topping or the scribbling. Yes, the scribbling. <laughs> <laughs> I have chocolate, so it's a different kind. Mm -hmm. This time it's guitar. And, and white then chocolate. the recipe calls for uh, cocoa butter. Okay. When you don't have cocoa butter, you can use white chocolate. If you okay. don't have white chocolate, you can use uh, oil. Yeah. And then you're just going to mix together, if you can help me. We're yes, going to put some milk. Okay. Yeah. And then this is uh, just some confectioner's sugar that I sifted. Is this going to have a similar consistency or...? Uh, it's going to look sort of shiny, mm -hmm. but it's 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 going to look similar, but it's mm -hmm. not. Okay. Like, you couldn't do the filling with this. It's going to be it. too loose. You kind of want those. It's like the little nuances. Okay. So I love that you were able to like take this baked good from the bakery, which was probably made like in, in hundreds. <laughs> and then you were able to find a recipe that made sort of like a home cooks version. And this was from your mom's friend. Yeah. And Tell so, me more about that. Yeah. So when I did the book, I spent actually a year traveling around Mexico doing research. Of course, I tried to see like, hey, do you have a home version like with the original yeah. owners? And obviously no like yeah, it's, yeah. this is a very protected recipe yeah but i said well i can try to mimic it yeah. and then my mom said you know what i think my friend so and so yeah that lives in this other state and i was like i don't i, I don't think yeah. i've met her and i went to see her never met her like stayed there yeah yeah and she was so generous yeah. and i was like maybe she makes like a version i had had mm -hmm. other recipes that other people had given yeah, yeah. me but i'm like it's not hers close to the and hers i tried i was like Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. This is the closest I got. And how did I she got. get the recipe? She figured it I out. Know, she figured she, it she out. can't say. Well, She's yeah, protected. she We're... protected her source. Yeah, exactly. I can't wait to put these together. Yeah. Let's and look do at it. this. That's, That's ready. gorgeous. With this, you're just going to cover it as well and set it aside. Mm. And then once both are ready in temperature, you're ready to go. Gorgeous. And we're going to assemble. I can't wait. The dough has properly rested. Yeah, it properly rested. Okay. And uh, we're just going to roll it out. Okay. And what I like to do when I roll, this is for any dough. Okay. I kind of like to pound it. Oh, I'm going to start in the center. Ready? And then when you roll it out, you kind of want to start from the center outwards and then the center backwards. Okay. Yeah. That uh, way I found, because sometimes when you start from the yes. beginning to oh, the this end, it evens it out. It evens it out. This is genius. Yeah. And then you want to turn it, you uh -huh. know. Okay, so while we're rolling, what should we tell the viewers? Well, you should like, yes. subscribe, and comment. Yes. But only nice things or because, else. you know. <laughs> that looks great. great. So and see, it's good. nice and smooth. Really smooth. This dough is lovely and yeah. so simple. And then what I like to do before cutting is just kind of lift it, uh, you know, to make sure that nothing is sticking. Nothing sticks. That's so smart. Right? And then that's it. Why don't and, I do these things? You know, and then <laughs> you can use whatever cutter you want. You know, it okay. can be fluted. It can be round. I like to do sort of small because honestly, I could eat so many. I mm -hmm. feel kind of less. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> then you're just going to want to cut them sort of as close to each other yeah. as they can. So you get as many as you yep. can. And you just have to have fun. And this is a very fun thing I get to do with my son. With kids, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So fun. He loves baking. This I morning mean, when I was, uh, you know, getting the stuff ready, he was like, what are we making today? And he was really upset that he didn't get to. So I was like, don't worry, I'll make extra for tonight. Yes. You know? To, well, I saw his 
scribble cup. Yeah. Oh, he made sure he's he like, I'm gonna make a little cup. scribble cup for, <laughs> he, for the he, show. I he mean, said for, for the, the scribble show. cookies. Yeah. This is genius. He's a really good scribbler. <laughs> he is. <laughs> <laughs> and then after you cut them, mm -hmm. I like to leave them out for like five minutes just oh. before baking. They, they, you like to let things rest. I like this. Yeah. Or at least yeah. this recipe. Yes. The one recipe I've ever made with you. <laughs> well, <laughs> hopefully the first of many. The first of many. <laughs> okay, great. Yeah. So we'll finish these up we'll and then we'll get them in the oven. Yeah. Gorgeous. Exactly. We have our cookies. Yes. Do you want to try one? No, I want. I've waited this long. Okay. We've waited for so them to gonna, cool. Wow, so you, you have a cool. you know willpower. Uh, you <laughs> could call it that, I guess. <laughs> okay, baked, cooled, and now we get to fill them. We're gonna fill them. Gorgeous. And we're gonna finish them. Okay. Okay, so we're just gonna turn them around. Okay. Right. We're gonna sandwich them, mm -hmm. and you want to make sure they kind of go to the edge. Oh. All right. So. Okay. So, yeah. should I try good. it? Yeah, try it. I think that's enough? What's your, what's your professional opinion? I think, you know, I always try, try to put it. as much filling as you can without it. I think that's good. Ooh. Oh, it's a little over the edge. But then, you know, you get to you go do like that. this. And, <laughs> <laughs> and that's a really beautiful edge now. You know? That's beautiful. Okay, great. All right. Okay. So, we're going to do all of these. Okay. Now, is this something that your son helps you with this step? Yeah, although yeah. he'll be like eating. How's it look? Awesome. Okay, so we filled the last one. It feels like we lost half our cookies, but I'm, <laughs> I know they're in there. I know they're in there. They're in there or in here. <laughs> we won't tell. So then we're gonna put them on the rack and we're gonna drizzle them. This is the best part. Yeah, this is Well, the actually, best. no. The best part is eating them. Well, but... That's true. Ooh, this is really thick. Yeah, and so if oh, you want it thinner, then you can um, oh just have it looser. <gasps> oh my gosh, kids would just absolutely yeah. love this. What a dream. Am I making you proud? This I, one's... Yeah, these Ugh. look amazing. And so then we'll these, let these cool? you just let these cool so that it sets, mm -hmm. and that's it. Great. And then you want to store them like room temperature if there's leftovers. This is my favorite cookie in the entire world. Cheers. Right, cheers. Mm. Mm. They're so delicious. They're so soft. I was expecting them to be like crispy, but the bite is perfect. These might be my favorite cookie now. Yes. And I'm so glad that I will know that they are part of your life and your childhood. Yeah. It's so special. This is Thank the best you. part about family recipes. Thank you so much for, for coming over. <laughs>